All right, first stop, Seattle. Just chilling here, gonna eat a little bit, like 67 kilos. Um, I got like eight or nine hours, so I'm probably gonna eat half of this and half of it in about five hours, and then just kind of chill out for a little bit, check my weight. But I don't know where my gate's at, so I'm pretty much just gonna be chilling at the terminal for a little bit until my gate gets announced. So yeah, I'm just gonna be eating here. I think I got like a 14 hour flight to Dubai, so we'll see how that goes, right? But in the meantime, I don't want to be too light and too heavy, so rice, vegetables, and seafood. Keep it lean. Uh, let's see where it goes. Alright, see, see you next in Dubai. Go here, Dubai. Let's go. Turned out to be a 14 hour trip, so we'll see what's up. Hopefully, I get to my place and we shall see what's going on. Check it out. Yay. Nice. Y'all see that? I like it. Man. Look at that. Christian. Buddhist. What's over here? Let's see. 
Oh, the kitchen. You already know this is where I'm gonna be chilling at. I got pots and pans, stove top. Oh man, I'm gonna be gravy. Oh man, look at all that. Oh beans. Oh man, it smells like amazing. Oh man, fridge. All right. Oh, we got a little something back here. Plates, blender. I'm about to go grocery shopping in a bit. Now nah, let's take a look. Yo, this is my room right here. Look at that. That's why I'm be sleeping. What's over here? Closets. And no closets. Yo, I don't know what's up there, but we about to find out. Y'all ready? Yo. Got a nice little spot up here. What? Dude, Dubai is amazing. Y'all see that? I'm on the top of the roof, bro. You guys already know, I got my daily prayers in the morning up here. I'm about to go check out that little grocery store over there in a bit. They got a little swimming pool over there. Dog, check out the city. All right, we're about to go grab some food at the grocery store. Check it out. Yeah, it's a nice little spot. It's my villa right there. Man, I can't believe I'm on the other side of the world yet again. I know, I'll do like a little video update for you all once I get done uh, eating, you know, because I only got like a little bit of, I weighed like 66.3, so I'm 0.3 over. Which means when I wake up tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be light. So I need to grab me a little something to eat. Uh, oh, man. Hella close. Y'all see that little grocery store right there? Hopefully they got like a little converter up in there. Uh, but I definitely need to grab me some food. And we shall see what's good. Alright. Update y'all in a bit. I don't know if I can videotape inside, so I ain't trying to get in trouble. So, I'll see y'all after I get done buying some stuff. Right, they had a little grocery area near my house for the Airbnb. Got my water. Uh, you know, got my orange juice. You know, some fructose for the morning to kind of help jumpstart like my my metabolism in the morning. So, you know, I could probably lose weight a little bit better throughout the day. Got a lot of calcium in here, which is why I got that. Three eggs in the morning tomorrow, probably three eggs in the morning on Monday. <laughs> you already know, I had to get my little bag of rice. I'm about to cook some ASAP. Bananas, you already know. You gotta get the potassium, high electrolyte food. Probably eat one tonight, one tomorrow, or two tomorrow, and then have them stacked up for the meat. Beautiful stuff. Check it out tomatoes, beans, mushrooms, more vitamin D. You know, got some tomatoes, got some red beans. Got some mixed vegetables for the soup. You already know, gotta get my honey for my meat. I'm glad they had some honey. Shrimp. Sausages, yeah. So that's pretty much gonna be my meat. Um, I'm gonna eat the shrimp for tonight. If I'm not too heavy tomorrow, then I might chop up a little bit of the sausages for tomorrow. 
uh, and then at the same time, the rest of the sausages for Monday morning before I go compete, because you already know, high in sodium, you know, we need meat. What else we got here? Nuts, in case I get hungry, I could just munch on that. Healthy fats, got some fruits up in there. I'm so glad they have one of these, man, one of these converters, so if I can charge my phone and just chit-chat with whoever, you know, my girl back in the States, so Listerine and a little red onion, so you already know the deal. I'm going to cook just a little bit for tonight, because uh, I'm a little light, uh, and we'll see kind of where that goes. Uh, but luckily, they have everything that I kind of do back in the States, so it's not too different. Right now it's about 9 p.m., so I'm trying not to eat too much, just a little bit, um, and then repeat tomorrow. And then might go for a walk, might meet up with my coaches and stuff like that. So I'm going to pretty much get ready to cook, and then I'll chit-chat with you all a little bit before I start my foam rolling session, because you already know 14 hours in a flight. Is insane so pretty much gonna foam roll the rest of the night all the until I go to sleep tomorrow same thing eat walk a little bit repeat you already know the drill so for now peace out lost breed all right so yeah my my glasses are broken so excuse me it's eight o'clock um, spent some time kind of foam rolling, doing some mobility work, and kind of cupping. I don't know if you guys see some of that. Uh, but generally, uh, right off 8 o'clock, um, I didn't get too good of a sleep. Um, probably because due to the time change, so I'm just going to try to stay awake as much as I can all the way up until about 9 or 10 p.m., and then I'm going to try to get some sleep um, and do the best that I can. But for right now, um, if the competition begins at 11 a.m., which means I'm going to probably weigh in at around 9. So right now is about 8 a.m. Um, I'm going to cook some rice, kind of heat up some of the food. And by the time I get done, I'm probably just going to eat. And then I'm going to take another walk to the store, maybe get some more food. It's going to be like a 20-minute walk. But I think that'll be okay. It'll be good for like my metabolism after I get done eating. So at the same time, I'm probably going to grab some lunch, some Thai food, maybe eat a little bit more because I'm 65.8. So I'm already under. So the goal would be to kind of weigh around 66.5, 66.8 or something like that later tonight uh, before I go to sleep uh, and kind of see where that goes. But yeah, pretty much the whole day is going to be eat, relax, foam roll, you know, make sure my glutes and my back, my shoulders and everything's moving the way that it's supposed to move. Uh, try to stay positive, take a few naps if I got to. But overall, the goal would be to get into a heavy sleep mode with all my sleep aids and stuff like that around 9 or 10 hopefully sleep until 4 or 5 in the morning wake up pack and get ready for the show so we'll kind of see how all of that goes but for now i'm gonna cook i'll kind of show you guys my walk kind of just chit chat a little bit kind of like what i did last year just so you all get a feel for what world is like especially in dubai which is amazing so far my airbnb is pretty awesome super nice um, and I hope uh, hope everything goes well. Uh, five o'clock, I'm probably gonna Uber to my coach's hotel. Kind of dictate how much I weigh on the hotel scale versus my scale, and then just kind of game plan a little bit with my coaches and whatnot. But I mean, if I had a choice, uh, my goal is to just do well. You know, I don't really expect to win this year. You know, the world is a big place, and I do not want to disrespect my competitors. Uh, best of luck to all of them. Of course, I'm always aiming for the top, 
but this year my main goal is just to not give people a heart attack where they feel like I'm gonna bomb out if anything I want to get six good lifts in my opener and my second attempt for all my squat bench and deadlifts if I do that, they're all already PRs. Uh, and then the third attempts are pretty much just for top three. But just to be between you and me, I mean, these are numbers that I should have been doing a couple of years ago, but it really just goes to show like how, how nitpicky someone like me has to be in order to be successful at these meets. You know, training has to be well, nutrition, is actually something that I've been taking a lot more serious lately, uh, you know, due to family issues and stuff like that. Um, but mainly, nutrition has been like the only factor that I haven't really been taking into consideration for all of these competitions. So, if everything goes well this year, then you obviously know the biggest change has gonna be, you know, mindset and nutrition. But mainly, training has been going well. Uh, nutrition has been going well learning how to take care of my body has been going very well in terms of like you know acupuncture and foam rolling and stuff like that really trying to stay positive and keeping negativity away um, and really just focusing on myself uh, being around people that uplifts me more than they dog me um, and you know for the most part I feel like 650 should be easy. I feel like 462 on bench should be easy. And 617 or maybe even 622 on the deadlift should be easy. But, you know, the last couple of years, again, you know, the weight cut is like a big killer for me. Uh, trying to get used to the time zone has been a big factor. You know, making sure that I'm sleeping well because, you know, the last couple of years, it's always been like a struggle with you know mosquitoes or just being too you know rowdy and stuff like that you know the pressure of the coaches not listening to what i say and then they mess me up a little bit in a sense where it's not perfect condition so i've been very on point with my communications with the coaches really making sure they understand who i am as a lifter because i feel like maybe this is just me now you know this is just in my own head um and i could be crazy but for some reason, I feel like Asian people, especially Asian athletes in America, we tend to get less credit or people tend to think like we can't handle the pressure as much as other lifters do because we don't usually get the benefit of the doubt. You know, for the last five or six years that I've been on the USA team, I feel like every time that I have to compete, even though I know I could have done a little bit better during certain lifts or whatnot, I haven't been given that benefit of the doubt. And I'm really hoping that this year when I put everything on the table, just believe that I am the caliber lifter that I am and give me some of the weights that I deserve or kind of just give me the benefit of the doubt. You know, like if I missed an attempt, and you feel like I, you know, it looks easy, everything's smooth. I mean, might as well just go up, you know, but who knows? It's very tough to say because USA teams are always looking for best placement and being consistent is key. So it doesn't technically matter how strong I think I am if I'm not consistent at it, especially at an international powerlifting federation meet because they're very strict. But at the end of the day, it's what I have to do, and I hope that all the training and everything that I've been doing has been put together well this year. And I'm really hoping that I get that 650 squat. I, I don't care if I get the white lights or not. I just want that weight on the bar. Uh, I would really love it if I could put that 215 or 200, 212 you know, 210 kilos on the bar for the bench. I mean, everything that I do on the bench is going to be a PR, so I can't really be upset. Um, and then same thing for the deadlifts. You know, I haven't pulled 600 or more in an IPF meet in so long, and I'm long due to blow it up, and this is only the beginning. Soon after this competition, I'm going to focus on my life a little bit more and literally try to move back down to Georgia where I'm going to have the USA team coach. I'm going to have Sherman Lefford. I'm going to have Josh Rohr and these individuals to kind of look at my technique, kind of help me a little bit more. So from this point on, I'm only going to get better and I'm going to make these guys 
run for their money very soon, if not already tomorrow. And I'm super excited because I can finally see myself on that platform. I can finally see myself beating these people who are super duper strong. I feel like I'm finally at the level where I can even take these people on. So I'm super excited and we'll see where that goes from here.